Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Tiger Academy. I'm Ravi Malhotra, your instructor for this entire uh, series, Cybersecurity with Ravi Malhotra. Uh, this series is uh, exclusively only on Checkpoint Firewall Technology. Uh, this is a course CCSA NGX R80.40. Uh, we have done, we have reached lecture number 23, uh, Lab 11. That's what we will do now. Uh, before this lecture, we have uh, uh, finished, you know, um, everything related to objects. So, lecture number 19 is all about uh, managing gateway object. Lecture number 20 is all about managing smart center server object. Lecture number 21 is all about the overall understanding of different types of objects that are available for creation. Lecture number 22 is a, is a real lab where I give you scenarios that how to create network objects, how to create host objects, how to create network groups, how to create address ranges, how to create service objects, TCP, UDP, and how to create service group objects, right? This is this is very interesting lab. Uh, the reason I call it as bonus lab because this is something very interesting, right? This is something about updatable objects and labs. So there are some updatable objects you know which are like online objects kind of that so so let us start guys uh, lecture number 23 real lab number 11 so these are all the previous lectures as well as the labs available on my youtube channel so updatable objects right it actually represents an external services office 365 aws uh, geolocations of any specific country, let's say that China, uh, so many other online services. Take an example, Zoom, right? Okta, um, you know, uh, 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 SharePoint, right? Office 365, Microsoft Intune services. So many services are there where you cannot predict their IP addresses. The reason being because they keep changing their IP addresses, they keep adding more services. To their portfolio hence they keep changing their ip addresses it's not easy for you to manually change those ip addresses and then update your policies and all that because otherwise then it will be uh, a lot of task for a firewall administrator to update ip addresses of urls update ip addresses of all these online services instead what happened is that checkpoint connect to these online services right and checkpoint updates these objects on their checkpoint cloud and you as a gateway connect to the checkpoint cloud so so let us start the conversation now so it actually represents an external services these uh, external services provides published list of ip addresses domains are both to allow access to the services these lists are dynamically updated an administrator do not need to change it manually no need for manual Updation. Okay. Updatable objects. Updatable objects derive their contents from these published list of providers, which Checkpoint uploads to Checkpoint Cloud first. Okay. The updatable objects are updated automatically on the security gateway each time the provider changes a list. So, so the objects on the Checkpoint Cloud gets updated automatically uh, from the exact service provider. There is no need to install policy for the updatable objects to take effect. In case if their IP address is changed, you do not need to worry, you know, um, that everything will happen in the backend automatically for you. You can use uh, updatable objects in all three types of policies, you know. Access control is the first type of policy. Uh, threat prevention. And then into HTTPS inspection, okay. In the threat prevention policy, you can also use an updatable objects as the protected scope. You can use updatable objects either as a source or as a destination in any security policy. All right. So let us move now. So as I said that updatable objects can be used in either as a source or destination field of a security policy. In this slide, I'm going to tell you how you get to see that, right? What you need to do in either the source or the destination 
field of a security policy you need to click on the plus icon then you need to click on the import button then you need to click on updatable objects it will show you all updatable objects available to be used in the security policy look at the screenshot below so in either the source or the destination in, in the destination here is a plus sign I will click on this object I will get this dialog box I will click on import button the moment I will click on import button I will see updatable objects section over here the moment I will click on updatable objects it will take some time because uh, it will fetch all the services from an internet so there are some prerequisites that you know the internet access should be working on your gateway that's the first thing NAT should be configured uh, on your gateway and the security management server should be part of the security policy to allow access right or to maybe access internet so these are currently supported external services for updatable objects okay let me go back so the moment you click on updatable objects it will take time and ultimately this will come up it will show you online services geolocation zoom services dropbox google services https inspection intune dynamic crm aws office 365 octa webex azure everything is here right zoom is there webex is there octa is there office 365 the moment you click on this dot it will expand and then you can choose the moment you click on google services it will expand and then you can choose geolocation you can expand and use azure services you can expand and use and aws you can use okay so before we go ahead and do the scenario let me show you that okay i'll go to my dashboard right so in either the source or the destination field i'll click on the plus icon here i'll click on the import button over here once i click on import button i will see this updatable objects i will click on this updatable objects all right so last check you know 12th october 12 8 a.m so this is the recent one all right so these are all the updatable objects that are available to you so you can see amazon aws services the moment you expand it right you will see that it is showing the Amazon Apple flow app flow Amazon connected services Amazon services API gateway services chime meeting services chime voice cloud 9 services cloud front services code build services dynamo DB services right EC2 instances EC2 services global access so many services you can see from the aws side route 53 similarly you expand azure and you can see all the services for azure for you okay geolocation you can see africa as a country africa uh, africa asia europe north america uh, South America, Shinya. Okay, so that so so this is how you see updatable objects. Okay, so let me go back now. So this is something we have done. That's very simple. Let me do that again. You just need to click on either the plus icon on either the source and destination. Click on the import. Click on updatable objects, and this is where you see all these objects for you right it, it's just a matter of your use case that what exactly you want to select okay all right let me move now <clears throat> this is done so updatable object scenario 
deny actually it is not deny it is actually allow access from okay let me let me let me change it you know <clears throat> let me let me change it allow access okay save it hmm. so in this lab right what I want I want to allow access to my gateway only from countries where I'm running my operations I'm running my operations in countries China Iran and Iraq only traffic from these countries to my gateway should be accept right and then I have a explicit deny right at the bottom so any other traffic coming to my gateway from any other country will actually be dropped by my explicit deny rule so in order to do this lab the prerequisite is that outbound internet should be allowed for internal LAN and hide NAT should be configured so so that's the prerequisite that NAT should be configured and internet policy should be there right scenario all allow all traffic from countries China Iran Iraq to the gateway object for all services so what I will do create a new rule in the security policy in the source field click plus icon so let me just delay it for you and let me let me do it right from scratch okay so I'll just click on new rule new rule above I will name this rule as allow access to gateway from countries India China Iran Iraq okay source I will click on plus icon I will click on import I will click on updatable objects I will click on geo locations I'll click on Asia I'll choose uh, China China India Iran Iraq that's all click on ok so I have selected these four countries uh, that's my gateway as destination services any ex action should be accept and uh, it should be log right that's all so that's all you need to create as a rule right then just install the policy and we are done with this particular lab right so every traffic from these countries they will be able to access to the gateway for any service right what is the next lab next lab is that allow access to all online services for internal zone allow access to all online services for internal zone okay so let me just uh, delete this rule okay let me just delete this rule and let me just create a new rule for you right click rule above so I'll click on allow access to all updatable objects for internal DMZ management and app zones okay that's the name of the rule in the source field I will pick it as a internal that's my internal zone I will click on plus I will click on I will type management I will click on management <clears throat> I will click on DMZ then come the DMZ zone then I will type in SAP is the name of my other zone I'll click on SAP all right so these are the four zones I want in the destination I'll click on plus icon I'll click on import I'll click on import I'll click on updatable objects so as a scenario I need to pick all services so it's just a matter of selecting everything right
all right so i have selected all the services right and i'll click on okay um services select any action should be accept and log should be log that's all right so this rule is also done so these are the zones that i have picked as a source these are all the updatable object services as a destination any services action should be accept that's all after that you just need to install the policy that's all you're good to go that's all guys so this was the last slide of this lecture number 23 thank you so much guys for watching i'm sh i believe that you must be enjoying uh, learning with Ravi Malhotra <laughs> so thanks a lot guys so just keep watching me just please subscribe to my channel uh, please like my videos please leave your comments forward it to all your friends so that they can take advantage of this learning they can also do all these labs and all that so thank you so much guys have a wonderful day to all of you have a great day bye